Okay, salawam, salawam, kwam ya sa'alo, koholoyim la, yehawo, bahasim, yawasai, bahasim, rakaha kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say, the water to all the Akim and Akwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Awaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And this is an article in the Associated Press that I seen earlier. It says, Solar flares may cause faint auroras across top of Northern Hemisphere. Now, what caught my attention in the, in the article is, it's saying solar storms may cause faint northern lights across fringes of the northern United States over the weekend as forecasters monitor for possi possible disruptions to power and communications. So, see, when we see stuff like that, you have to be like, oh, yeah, well, you, you know, because first off, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. So let's get that first. And it's just a short little lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, matter of fact, let's get this real quick. Sirach. Chapter 5 and verse 15, it says, Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. So we can't be ignorant in any matter, whether it's great or small, when it comes to Esau, Edom, this so-called white man, because that's their biblical nationality. And this man is the top enemy of the Lord, and he's the top enemy of the Israelites, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? This man doesn't like Yahweh. He doesn't like Yahweh Shai. He doesn't want to keep the rules and regulations of the Bible, though he used it you know, and whitewashed all the images with his white images, you know, and, and fronted as if he was the righteous people. But these are really the wicked. Because as you go through the story, what you'll see is this is an organization that's set up by them to actually monitor shit like that. So who do you think is in control um, enough to monitor uh, uh, the damn sun, man, and some solar flares? They have a, a we're going to get into it. But this man, Job 9 and 24, says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing, who is he? So he covered the faces of the main judges, the father, Yahweh. You Google God right now, you're going to see a white guy pop up. You Google uh, the Lord or who they call Jesus, you're going to see a white guy pop up. You Google the disciples, you Google the, the prophets, Mary. I don't care who you Google about the Bible. If it's got anything to do with someone good or righteous, so-called, you're going to see their faces pop up. And they know full well that the scriptures talks about how the children of Israel are dark melanated people or at least at that particular time period they were so now we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth so we don't look the same we look like all the other nations now but the seed line does go through your father it still has to be an Abraham Isaac and Jacob DNA thing you know but though our people look like so-called Chinese people now why because we've been scattered through China as well Japanese we look like them we've been scattered through all the nations all the nations have taken part in our slavery so we have been in captivity in these continents in these countries and we have had children with the women of these um, continents and countries and like I said again the seed goes through the father so over time generation to generation you lose color you lose bone structure you lose a look and then you just overall you, we're just scattered and we don't really know who we are that's where you get the Gentiles really in the scriptures that Paul was um, assigned to go into. They were Israelites that spoke different languages and lived like the, um, the heathen and lived like the people of the, um, the nations that they were um, scattered into. But that's another lesson, though. So. Can't be ignorant of um, any anything that this man has going on. Right. It says be not ignorant in, a, in anything in a great matter or small. So now let's get. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. See that? That word ignorant again. You can't be ignorant of anything that this man does because he, he, he works with gradualism. He works in small pieces sometimes. He works in small parts. And then the next thing you know, he's, he's put together the full thing on you just with little piece after little piece after little piece. Sometimes he'll take, you know, years to do certain things, but eventually he's got a goal. You see? And so they've been having a lot of, um, you know, um, situations with um, like, say, like, for instance, I'm not sure Bank of America is back up. Communications went out with um, Verizon the other day. And it's been um, communication problems and blackouts. It's been some major blackouts 
maybe three or four of them in the past two or three months. So when they're saying that something like this could affect the communications, we have to be looking like, OK, so they could actually affect the communications themselves and blame it on something like this. And when I went into the comment boards, people not people not with it. See, Esau don't trust Esau. The so-called white people don't trust um, the so-called white. It's them. Basically, they're doing a lot more complaining than anybody. The so-called white people are like, you know, nah, man, what the fuck, man? But they call it the government. They won't say, well, it's actually our people that's fucking us over. They call it the government. But it's really their people because their people are the government. That's why, um, you know, I quoted that. At Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing who is he, right? So, really, we didn't have to get a whole bunch of the article. I just seen that part and was like, oh, okay, yeah, no, nah, nah, we, we see. But let me get that part again. It says, solar storms may cause, and they're talking about, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen somebody in the com comment board mention that this is right around the elections. I'm not sure. <laughs> but hey it, it just will be it just will may, um can be you just never know right it says solar storms may cause northern lights across fringes of the northern united states over the weekend as forecasters monitor for possible possible disruptions to power and communication the sun's magnetic field is currently at the peak of its 11 year cycle see that's how we know that Job 9 and 24 fits these people. The earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. Because how the fuck would you know that? It says, making solar storms and northern lights more frequent. The sun shot out two strong flares this week, including one Thursday that was the biggest since the 2000 and, 2017. Pale auroras may be visible as far south as South Dakota, Iowa, and New York. But the storms could still intensely or weaken over the weekend. There's still a fair amount of uncertainty. Air could grow. C, spokesperson for the U.S. National o Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said Friday. See that? That's an organization that's funded by taxpayers' money. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you don't have nothing to do with this shit. You don't get, we don't even give a fuck about that. But they take your taxpayers' money and put it towards all kinds of shit that you don't agree with. That's why I always say to repent, you know, daily for things that we, you know, that we, we knowingly do. Well, of, you know, of things that we unknowingly do as well, because we have no control of being here in this captivity like how we are. And these people taking the money from us and they putting it towards LGBT, you know, whatever they putting it they just, towards wars. They sending the money to so-called white people that don't, don't even fucking like us. <laughs> you see, and, and, it's, and, and a lot of the money is going towards wickedness. So, you know, though it's not our fault initially like that, but we still have to repent because really in reality i mean you know we're not hands on hands in it but you know i, I would say it's still something to, to repent for because we somewhat got that little hand in it like that anyway because because esau he he forces things on you all right but it says usually strong solar storms in may produce jaw-dropping aurora displays across the northern hemisphere this week's storms featured fewer ejections of the high energy plasma that can drive a, a light show according to the NOAA the Associated Press Health and Science Department received support from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute of Science and Educational Media Group uh, the AP is solely responsible for all kinds yeah because Esau is running the world man this man hey, if it's not about if, it, if his science doesn't say it's real then he calls it misinformation or disinformation and I was just watching um the brother out in Kansas City, GMS Kansas City. And um, I had seen that video a couple of times this week with this lady. And she's given this, you know, um, she's given the, the, she's given the get down on how they're about to basically. America is pretty much done, 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 done pushed the Constitution out of the way and have given um, full soul control to these um, these organizations like NATO. You know what I'm saying? Who? The World Health Organization, you know, and all that bullshit. So these these people that are not even elected, damn, are pretty much running shit right now, you know. And why they've been running all this bread and circus down? People been focused on Diddy. People been focused on um, Trump getting shot at. People been focusing on their NFL games, you know, and all this bullshit. 
the new Netflix show, you know, and they're not paying attention to the fact that this man has been running game on you. And so see a story like this again. They can easily say, well, damn, you know, this is cut, you know, and it hit and it, and it done this and it done that. And next thing you know, you got a blackout. They've already been testing. I'm telling you, man, a lot of this stuff has been test data testing where they're going to see how the people react. All that um, bank failings, um, all this, um, uh, 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 you know, um, blackouts on sh certain shit, you know, all this infrastructure, um, you know, going down. And they've been testing to see what they and see. People really haven't even been riled up like that. You know, you got, you know, people that, you know, the, the people that's being affected. But we're talking about on a grand scale. Because there's nothing for Esau to call a thousand houses, right? And he'll do a survey of the whole entire 300 and some million people here in the Americas that's all calling a thousand people. They'll be like, oh, well, we called a thousand people. 600, 600 of them agreed to this, you know, and we have, um, you know, 60% of this, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and they'll base that on everybody that's here. And, and they'll be like, oh, well, we're going to have some resistance here. We're going to have some resistance there. You know, this is this man's calculations. So he know he and, and, and trust me when he knows who, who's not going to um, comply to the bullshit. He already know. That's why they're starting to um, kind of put some of these white supremacist groups and shit out here. You know, they're starting to put on um, a lot of these um, these people on blast as far as like who they they feel to be um, enemies of, um, you know, the, um, what do they call it? Uh, domestic terrorism or domestic problems and shit like that. So they already know the people that's going to resist and they know the amount of people. That's 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 and pretty much it's half and half because the country is all split up anyway. You know, you got that division that's being spoken of in Matthew 12 because you got half the country that believe that Trump is still their president. They never looked at um, Joe Biden as being their president. Then you got the other half that's going to go and vote for Kamala. You know, so you, you got a complete split down the middle. Those Democrats, they don't give a fuck. They're going to hey, they're going to be the first in line for the chips. They're going to be the very first ones that's going to be like, well, why? Why don't you guys want to be down with it? It's not hurting anything. It's only going to help us. See, they're going to be the very ones that's going to be duped first. Out of, out of, you know, I, I can't, you know, <laughs> them Republicans, man, they, they up in arms, man. They, they already got, you know, um, water put up and, and food put up and, and ready to go to war. These damn Democrats, they're about to get caught out here, man. So little stuff like this right here, it may not seem like a whole bunch, but it matters. And like I said, again, only a person in power can put together an organization like this because they don't tell them how much tax funded money they get per year to run some shit like this. Leave the damn sun alone. You're not going to the sun. That's for goddamn sure. You're not going nowhere near that motherfucker like that. All this trying to um, go to space and shit. You're not going near that sun. You ain't ever about to come up with nothing that's about to go to that sun. Just leave it alone. The damn sun come out, it comes out. If it's cloudy today, it's cloudy today. Guess why? Because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, our side is in control of it. See? So it's nothing that, that, that can be done that, that the Lord don't want, want done. But this man, his science. And if, he, and, and if you're not speaking on his science... You can't get to talking to these people about the Lord created these things, man. They call it Mother Nature and shit like that. They'll do anything but give the Lord his credit. All right. So be looking for, you know, we're, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. You know, I'm not saying that anything is going to jump off from this. But Esau, man, you, hey, we, gotta, we have to look at this man from all angles. Matter of fact, let me get that. Um, I had quoted. That's Sirach. Sirach chapter um, 12, and verse 10. It's, it says, never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So just like iron is going to eventually rust, this man is going to eventually show you his wickedness. Yeah, he might say hi and hey, how's it going? You know, how was those lions or how was those tigers or how was those, you know, whatever damn sports team you got if he see you at the job. He might say, well, hey, what you doing this weekend? You know, all that little shit. He'll, he'll make small talk with you. But eventually, you know what I'm saying? He, he gets to a point of he's going to eventually just get down and do what he's, what he's designed to do. And that's to be wicked, man. And you're not to trust this man. Because check it out. This is what the Lord said right here. And, and the Lord was, was straightforward about it. It says, though he humble himself, because that's what they do. You know, 
though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. That's a direct command from the Lord. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. See? Because sometimes I'll put in the comment boards, you know, a certain stories. I'll be like, you know, the, the world needs um a, 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 a break from white people. <laughs> and man, they be going hard as hell in the comment board. But I'm just telling the truth. And, and, and if they was real, if they had a real bone in their body, a real truthful bone in their body, they would know that the world needs a, a break from you fuckers, too. You see, that's just like you because we cut into everybody. He ain't just cutting into the so-called white man because hey, hey, Jake need a break from Jake. But we really need a break from the so-called white man because the shit that Jake be doing is pretty much it comes from being around Esau too goddamn long. It's just really that simple, man. So when we say that the world need, I, I, when I be saying that the world needs a break from the, the so-called white people, I really mean that because guess what? Look at your food. Look at your air quality. Look at your water quality. Look at, I'm out, man, it, psh, the shit that this man is doing in the backdrop, man, people are all obese as fuck. The women are, 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 are fucking out of control. The kids are out of control. The households are out of control. You got alphabet shit going on. And this is all because of this man. Road rage. Motherfucking school shootings. You name it, bro. War after war after war. And you trying to tell me that the Lord, the, the world don't need a break from that shit? The Lord, the Lord is about to give us a break from this clown, man. That's the whole coming of the Lord. That's one of the re main reasons the Lord is coming. Because here's the enemies of the Lord right here. Since I mentioned it. These people right here and the top of the list is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Can't get around it, bro. I've never read it in any of these other translations. Um... Um, let me read it in a good word translation. Let's see how it reads. It, a song or a psalm of Asaph. O Yahweh, do not remain silent. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. Do not keep quiet, O Yahweh. Look, your enemies are in an uproar. Those who hate you hold their heads high. Right? They make plans in secret against your people and plot together against those you treasure. Which are you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And Speckleberg, because like I said again, um, the seed line goes through the father. And if you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you are a, you are an Israelite. But this is only for the elect of Israel. And if these if these scriptures resonate with your spirit, it doesn't make no difference what you look like, because it's not a color thing. We have to always break that, you know, or bring that out. This is not a color thing. Israelites look like every nation on this planet because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, for these five centuries or so you know what i'm saying during slavery of course we're not going to have the same color of course we're not going to have the same look but we're still israelites right okay so it goes on to say they say let's wipe out their nation so that the name of israel will no longer be remembered so that's the reason why when they conquered us they gave us all these different names blacks hispanics native americans african americans Haitians, Jamaicans, Dominicans, you know, Latinos and, you know, all this bullshit. Those are not those are not nationalities. Those those names are not even in the scriptures. And they know that we are Israelites, right? They know. Don't don't think that these elite of them don't know at least. So it goes on to say they agree completely. They, they agree completely on their plan. They form an alliance against you. The tents from Edom. See, this is going off into the names. Edom, Esau, that's the biblical name for the so-called white man. Why do we know that? We know that by faith and we know that what the scriptures is saying, it says he came out red. We know that they're not white. We know that they don't look like a glass of milk. We know that they're actually red. These people are red as shit. Look at them. <laughs> they're pinkish to reddish in color. There's no such thing as white people. Scriptures talks about them being cunning hunters. Um, 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 Esau being a cunning hunter. Nobody's out hunting this man. This man hunts people. He hunts lions, tigers and bears. Oh, my. You know, the scripture talks about how he would um, he would be blessed with the gift of the sword. Why the fuck you think he out here bombing everybody? Why you think that he's able to run the world? He's able to run the world like how he's running the world because everybody is scared of shit of this guy because he know they know that this guy will come through and fly a plane over their shit or not even a plane. They'll just shoot a missile from from 
10,000 miles a fucking way, man, to take out your damn continent. So he's gifted with the sword. We know that. Scripture says that he was he, he was gifted with the, um, the fatness of the earth. He lives in the best places, the most pristine places. He's in control of all the oil, all the minerals, the diamonds, the sapphire, the amber, you name it. This motherfucker, man, he, he has vaults of that shit. And if anybody else try and get their hands on any other type of um, um, resources like that, man, they, you know, they, they, they'll they knock your ass off. It just is what it is. So those are just a few traits of Esau. That's how we know who he is. He's the border of wickedness. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We know that he's running the earth. You can't say that he's not. This motherfucker is in control of everything. All right. So it, 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 it mentions him, Edom and Ishmael, which is, um, you know. I would have to say, you, um, you know, the, your, your, those people that's over there that Isra the Israelis are fucking with right now. You know, a lot of them. Your Arabs and shit like that. Moab. That's your so-called Chinese today. You got Hagar. Let's see here. You got um, Gabal. You got Ammon. Ammon, your so-called Japanese. And you got um, Amalek. Cause he, and you got some, um, some African nations within here. Because we're not Hamites. That's another thing that they push on us. That's a weapon, too, that they use as far as disinformation. See, this man is great at media and, 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 and weaponization of information, man. So he, he, what, what do you think he's doing every night when you see your, your local news? He's serving you the propaganda of what he wants you to believe for the day. He tries to actually imitate the Lord in so many ways because the scripture talks about how a man would, the Lord basically programs a man when he goes to sleep at night. But Esau, he wants to program you throughout the day with, with his radio shit, with his TV shit. You know what I'm saying? He's serving you exactly that dose of uh, uh, medicine that he wants you to have, so to speak. He'll throw a goddamn commercial on, have you go and get a Baconator, run your goddamn blood pressure up while you're sitting there watching um, some, you know, some, you know, some other bullshit that he's trying to push into your mind. This man is a madman. Okay, but it says Amalek. Amalek is the ones that's over there in Israel right now, claiming to be the holy people that's bombing every goddamn thing. And America is helping them. I just seen an article. I think it's um, something with, uh, I'm going to have to go into it. I think America just um, done an airstrike in Yemen, I want to say. I'll have to check that out. I just seen it pop up as I was doing this lesson. But anyway, it goes on with um, Philist Philistia. Or of the Philistines, those are um, Africans, Hamites, along with those who live in Tyree. And, and, you know, like I said, again, we're not Africans. We're not Hamites. Everybody with melanin is not the same people. I was explaining it to my neighbor yesterday. He kind of got it. You know what I'm saying? You know, but because one of my neighbors, he all with that, that Kamala bullshit. And they really all, you know, I'm walking through, you know, I'll be going for my walks. And all these goddamn Jake got a fucking Kamala sign in they goddamn yard looking stupid as hell. But they gonna see, man. Then, of course, you know, you got these dock workers. They don't went back to work, I think, until January 15th. I guess that was probably a test as well. But um, anyway, man, I'm gonna end out. I don't want to keep this too long, but hey, we're just, we, we, we'll, be looking, we'll be on the lookout for this right here. Because I didn't see the date that they were actually talking about this supposedly be happening. But, hey, hey, I mean, if they're talking about communications and shit like that, they can easily. Because, see, they, they, they have to go into this MOTB. They got to go off into this market of beauty and the beast, man. That Revelation 13, 16. Revelation 13, 17. They have to go into that. Eventually, that chip has to come. And the way that they're going to do it, I mean, you know, me speaking as a man, it's going to have to be a reset. So if they if they they can use something like this right here, black every damn thing out. Shit come back on. Everybody's bank accounts are at zero. Everybody's fucking panicking. You know what I'm saying? And then they all of a sudden they got the solution. So that's the reason why we do little, you know, little lessons like this. We have to look at everything. We and we this, this man, he he searches your ass with a microscope. We have to be the we have to be the same way by the spirit. You see? As a matter of fact, this was a scripture that I, I kind of I missed on. Because again, he searches out everything. I'm trying to think that um It's a scripture where it talks about he's wiser than Daniel, man. Daniel was wise. 
Yep, Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. See, this man, he's, how the fuck would you know those calculations and what the sun is going to do and when it's going to do this and when it's going to do that? And he's following the seasons. You think that he will believe in the Lord. With all the evidence, all his science proves that the Lord is real. But he'll tell you, oh, no, nah, it's Mother Nature and our, our science. And we're going to, and how the fuck can all this stuff be here without a creator, man? That's because Esau wasn't created like that. He was created to be the wicked. He was created to be the one that to turn you from the truth. He's the physical counterpart of Satan on the planet, man. He's not designed to give you the truth. He's not going to tell you no truth, man. That's why that scripture says, never trust thine enemy. <laughs> For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Sometimes I even put that in comment boards. I'll just put now, you know, never trust white people. And, and they be coming back, man, with paragraphs. How dare you? They, you're racist. Like, nah, man. And then, but people be upvoting, you know, on, on, in the little news break app. I just be kind of fucking with them in, in certain stories because they be, you know, talking all kinds of shit. You know, so I just put something in there real quick. And, and man, when I tell you. But it bothers them, you know what I'm saying? Because they're being put on front street and everybody is starting to say the same things like, y'all the wicked, man. Can't get around it. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Allah and the Bible Boy. Be on the lookout.